This is a walkthrough of Kaula's Rest in Remnant 2. Um, so a lot of areas are randomly generated. I'm not sure if this one is or not yet, but uh, if it doesn't exist, it was connected to the Forgotten Grove in my playthrough. If it doesn't exist in your world, it means that you need to re-roll your campaign. Um, because only uh, certain worlds, uh, only some areas are in some playthroughs and some aren't in others. So like in Lasam, one time through I'm, of starting Morrow Parish, I might see Butcher's Rest. The other time I might see Cotton's Killing or whatever. So keep that in mind. If this area doesn't exist in your playthrough, that's why. You need to just try again on a new campaign. Um, also, if it doesn't look anything like yours, it's because the areas are randomly generated in this game. Some areas are not, but most areas are randomly generated. So do keep that in mind when watching this. But I will do my best to guide you through this one, and at least the enemies should be roughly the same. Any major puzzles should be the same. But um, any, like, side rooms will just be different. So do keep that in mind. Damn, there are a lot of these guys. Oh, I guess his slam attack doesn't have verticality. Also, as far as like what type of iron and stuff you find, it's probably based on your world level, not even the difficulty. Probably the world level. So like um, this right here, power level, based on how upgraded your weapons are, I think that determines the frequency of the iron galvanized iron, forged iron drops and stuff like that as far as what they'll be. So funny that as long as I have room to strafe, they can't hit me. What the hell? I'm guessing this opens from the other side. That's usually what these things do. Yeah, or oh no, I need a key to open it. Okay. Well, we will return to that door, don't you worry. I don't know how that was not a headshot. There was nothing I could see but his head in the in the crosshairs. I do want this galvanized iron really bad. All right, here this must be either the key for this side or something for the other side. Temple key, new quest item. So something like that may end up being the same. It depends. I don't know. Um, like I said before, a lot of times in these, the side rooms can be randomized. So like I know in, in Arud, there was a, like a side room that I saw in the putrid domain on my first playthrough. And the other one, it was at uh, the forgotten temple or something like that. And it was just like, there's a water puzzle, for example, and one playthrough I saw it in one place, and another playthrough I didn't see it at all. And so, I don't know if this door is like that for this area, but sometimes it's not. Sometimes there'll be an area where something is consistent every time, even in the randomness, but I don't know. Well, either way, if you have that one or something like that, it should be similar to that. Okay, I was wondering if I could uh, juke him point blank, and the answer is resounding no. Wow. Oh, here we go.
I always go too early on that. That crystal just looks like it should be destructible. I'm disappointed. Starting to get used to their hitbox a little bit better now. I say that and then I whiff literally four shots in a row. He gave me some crazy jukes though, to be fair. He went like left and right and all around. Did a spin to win. Oh, trait point. I really wanted to put it into this uh, bloodstream one, just a little bit even. Just so I slowly regen gray health. So I died in this room and had to reset. There was a mini boss that had no weak point I never fought before. And I was being too um, slow with him. I needed to just go all out and just not even kill. Like, he didn't, not only did he not have like an obvious weak spot, I had one where when he threw something, I was able to get a red number one time for like a split second. But... Um, but it wasn't that he didn't have like a good weak spot. It was that he didn't have even a normal spot. He only had resistance spots, which I don't know if I'll see him again or not. I kind of want to fight him again because I want to try to figure out his weak spot now. I literally have the best amulet for this area. If I just let, I need to just let myself get hit by one shot periodically. Because I bet I heal. There we go. I might get hit by two. I wasn't paying attention. I'm, I heal 10% of my max health when I take damage. So if they're doing less than 10% of my max health, I heal for more. Oh God. This is not what I fought before. This is way easier. He has an obvious weak spot. Wow, that exploded in my face. Probably does the rot thing to me, but I have that ring on to make me resistant to rot. You can buy, at least in my case, I was able to buy this in the Forgotten Grove right when I first came to this area. Let's take a look, see. I just should just cross back over. But I feel like something should just happen in here. I should just get like attacked by a monster, pulled into a secret room. But I don't. Wait, what? There we go. Well, I really want to, after this, after the walkthrough of this area, I'm going to go upgrade my weapons. It's, it's starting to get really fun to try to shoot these guys in the head. <laughs> Will you make up your ma- <laughs> I should have let him hit me once. I want to try it. Hit me one time. Okay, I probably got hit more than once. I wasn't paying attention. I got distracted by the mini boss noise. Oh, I just let him hit me twice. I wanted to, I'm, I'm trying to let him, okay, I, I'm, it's not worth your guys' time for me to play around with this right now. Oh, here we go. This is what I fought before. I guess I make him hit his own landmines is probably the play, I assume. Oh yeah, that did damage to him. Okay, so he's like the people who throw grenades in Lassam. Or throw literal like bombs. They're like very cartoony bombs. They're like sphere ones with a fuse on them. Man, where are the ads? I just want to kill the ads that are following him around. Shit. 
There's one. Oh. My god. I don't think I need to shoot them. I think they're proximity mines, so I just gotta make sure they're close enough to him that he'll walk over them before they explode on their own. Well, I feel like that didn't do much damage that time. Maybe I do have to shoot them. Well, now would be the time to find out. I'm going to try shooting them and see if it's different. Oh, well, not shooting that one. Oh, my God. Oh, if I shoot them... Oh my god, they absorb the damage that I shoot into them. And then they shoot that damage into him. Okay, now that I, had, now I know how to fight these enemies. If you were watching at this point, now you know how to fight them too, I guess. Okay. So it's not just proximity mines. They're actual absorption mines. They absorb the damage. And then spit it back out. Alright, we got two rings in this area or something. Alright, Stalker's Band. This is at Kula's Rest. An amulet. Gain 10% ranged and 15% melee damage. Bonus doubles versus enemies not targeting the wear. Which would be really nice in co-op, but not nearly as good in single player. Well, that's still a pretty good thing because you just do up bonus damage. So that's a decent amulet. Although I feel like there are better amulets, but it's pretty cool. So that's the Stalker's Brand. That's a band. Stalker's Brand. I guess that's in Kaula's Rest, but that's probably not just here. It's going to be because these random dungeons are randomly generated. It's just going to be in this region in general. So it may just be in a totally different area in my next playthrough. But that's going to be how to get... What's that called again? It's how to get the um, the Stalker's brand in Remnant 2. Okay, so we got another one over here. Not bad. This is not an item. No, it is. So this is the tier of Keula. This is in Keula's Rest. This will probably always be here uh, because it seemed like a quest type item. And when you act it, when you grab it, it activates this uh, cutscene for a boss. I have such crazy, um, dodging distance on my dodge. I have the trait where my dodge makes me go further. So the big trick to this guy is, um, there's deep water and shallow water. And you don't want to get caught in the shallow water. I can't believe I missed. He's so big. How did I miss? Okay, do not let him do that. I should have just ran. Well, I just made this hard on myself. I want to be here, though. Here he comes, though. 
Move speed's insanely OP, by the way, for boss fights. I have multiple things that give me move speed. I think I have, like, probably... When I sprint for a few seconds, I get multiple sec. I have, like, 30% move speed or 15, 20. I don't know. Whatever it is. I just remember... I remember to throw a spear every... Oh, I'm dead. Oh, my God. He whiffed. Whoops. This is you know, trying to get my ammo back. Oh shit. Oh my god. That's so cheap. Yeah. Trying to get my ammo back again. If you want to know how to get your ammo back like this, you should look in the description of this video to try to find my video about the infinite ammo. Ma oh, I just messed up. I'm dead. I didn't realize there's not a path there. Oh, he really just did that to me? Uh-oh. I don't know what he's doing, but it's getting real weird in here. I'm going to pop one of these because I have an ammo that makes it so if I just use one every 60 seconds, I can just use infinitely. Whoops. Didn't hold it long enough. The further away I am... Oh, no. The further away I am from him... I forgot what I was even saying. <laughs> oh, the further away I am from him when he uses the red wave thing, the easier it is because it goes faster and faster. Okay, I did not realize there's not stuff for me to walk on right here. Wow, what a coincidental juke. Oh, we got more. I almost said something I shouldn't say on YouTube. Oh, what the hell? Whoops.
Oh my god, how am I missing that? That's crazy. Oh, that's such a cheap shot. Oh my god, that hit me. Somehow, I'm being surprised if he's weak to fire. Well, let's find out. So close to dead. There we go. And he dropped the Twilight Dactylus. I will try to remember at the end of this video to show what that gives us, but I might forget. It's very hard to remember by the end of a walkthrough. All right, so we came in right there. It threw us back to the entrance. We had just looped around. Um, real quick, let me go check over there and make sure there's no, like, secret rooms or anything. There's one last little spot we didn't go to. And then we'll head to the other side of this temple. Oh, I have a trait point. And I'll decide later. I don't know how that guy's alive. I'm pretty sure I killed everyone right here. Like, I know I died, but, like, I when I came back through on the part that I skipped, I killed everyone in this area. Okay, so that door opens from the other side, I assume. But I had grabbed everything in that room, at least. So, I think that's it for this spot. Right, let's go check out the other part of this temple. It's showing me the exit. Oh, the exit's gonna be... Okay. Alright. Nothing else fancy over here on this generation of Keula's Rest. So, let's go ahead to the exit area and see what we see. Man, I'm so glad I have the infinite melee... Or infinite ammo combo on my melee weapon that thing is so op for boss fights like that where they just drain all your melee all your ammo and they just don't give you ammo back hardly at all like that was literally perfect for that type of boss again if you want to know it's in the description of this video somewhere near the top i think some of cool videos or so cool videos something on melee mod infinite ammo i don't know it should be in there unless i forgot to put it in there which would suck but hopefully it'll be in there if not, it'll be in the next iteration of the links in the description, which I update every every day or two. I add them and go back to all my videos and go and just copy-paste all the updated version of it. I, someone was saying I should add an index on the next one to categorize it better, and I probably will. Maybe the, maybe by the time you see this video and go to the description, it'll have some kind of index organization. I don't know. Probably, maybe I'll do that tonight before I go to bed. Anyway, that was the end of Kayula's Rest. Let's see what was through this door, though. And I don't know if it's going to be the same every time or not cause for some of this stuff. I had to play it at least like three times to know exactly how it goes. But after that, I got the Forbidden Grove. Uh, so we got another new area here, which if you want to see the Forbidden Grove, I'll be doing that in a different walkthrough. And hopefully the link for that will eventually be in the description of this one. But that's it, guys. Again, if everything is different, it's because maps are randomly generated. If you got, that one doesn't exist on your playthrough, it means that you need to re-roll your campaign try again. Because there's maps that you get sometimes, don't get the other times. But either way, that was that map, which I already forgot that as soon as I walk out. I'm just It's like I'm a goldfish. I can't even remember what the name was, but... That was the one that I just showed you, <laughs> whatever it was called. It'll be in the title of this video in Remnant 2.